Welcome to another edition of Team Hotel TV. I'm your host, Buddy Martinez, and here we have Leo Moda, and subbing in, we have uh, Josh from the Falcons. Um, Chris Lahr is unable to make it today. Um, after a devastating loss last week, he just couldn't take it. Um, and, you know, the Panthers are on the verge of not winning any games this year, and that hurts. Wow. And that hurts. So Chris can't be here today. Another, we got uh, the fraud of the week also is uh, Alex, who's not here as well, <laughs> uh, from the Cowboys. Um, so I'm feeling that the host, I get to talk less now. Uh, I guess Alex must be a little intimidated by, I guess, uh, me. I guess that he uh, he doesn't want to even come on here anymore. Uh -huh, you need to stop bullying him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. He got to step his game up, though. But, yeah, so let's get into it. We are doing... Uh, this is week seven and eight edition. So, you know, we had the rain delay. We're going to have a marathon week uh, this uh, this week. And the first game that we got is going to be an interesting game. You got the Seahawks coming off uh, their first loss of the season going against the boys. We've kind of been surging a little bit. Uh, uh, Josh, why don't you break down that game a little bit? So, yeah, the, uh, the Seahawks are ranked second on offense and eighth on defense. They were higher, I believe, but after that Colts game, they, uh, they took a steep drop. And then the Cowboys, they're uh, six on offense and six on defense. So they're about like average in the middle. Um, Cowboys are four and two, Seahawks five and one. Josh, so what do you think about that game? Who's going to win that game? Uh, Seahawks and Cowboys? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to be a close game because the Cowboys, they have this phenomenal player. His name is Carlos. Um, he's probably MVP candidate, best player in the league, hands down. Who? That, that kid is Carlos. He's amazing. Um, the kid with the glasses. His hair used to be like a bright blonde. Oh, I know, I know his mom. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> very, very nice lady. Very, very nice lady. She came yeah, a couple yeah. games, um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be a difference maker in that game. <laughs> But it's gonna be it's gonna be close. It's gonna be like a forty to seven. Carlos is gonna score that touchdown, and uh, close, he's, he's gonna he's gonna carry them. So who who do you have winning? Seahawks. So Carlos is gonna score that one touchdown. Yeah, he's gonna oh, carry them. He's gonna carry them. Phenomenal. So phenomenal. you don't think the boys have a chance in this game, huh? Um, I feel like until they get rid of Eric and maybe put like Carlos because he does everything. Put him, Chris, put him at Chris, quarterback. Chris, you, you you spoke a lot. Uh, All right. <laughs> Gibberish. I, I feel like Eric has been stepping it up. How listen, many touchdowns listen. he do this he week? He threw six. He had his best game. Um, he just needs to limit on the turnovers. For the lead, if Kate, and just in case the league don't know this, this just isn't any game for the Seahawks. The Seahawks have yet to beat the boys. The Seahawks are, are, are like 0-4, 0-5 against the boys. Mikey has yet to beat the boys. You know, he just came off for a tough loss, so it's definitely going to be a tough game. You know, he actually is going to be able to play the entire game this week. Maybe if he doesn't throw any tantrums prior to the game and has to sit a whole half. He just seems, you know, the reason why Mikey isn't going to break the touchdown record this year is because he just can't seem to keep his attitude together. So, you know, maybe he has to be at the field at 9 o'clock and he gets there at 10 o'clock. Hopefully, Rude benches them for a half. But I think the boys are going to continue our streak against the Seahawks. I don't think they, you know, they're going to come in and just walk all over us. As Josh said, it was going to be a close game, 40-7. to seven. So I don't think it's going to be like post, that at all. Post, um, post, post, post I think it, it will be a real close game, yeah, close. you know, where the boys are going to win 31 to 20. Gotcha. So it seems like the Seahawks are going to be a little shorthanded again this week here. Uh, with, you said Mikey might be sitting this first half. Well, it all depends how, you know, um, they have a lot of weird stuff going on over there. You know, Mikey comes whenever he wants. Right. Jesse chooses on which game to bench him, which game not to bench him. You know, I know he hasn't. He's probably missed a total of two games of being benched in first half. And he got he got suspended, I think, the first week of the season for bullying one of his teammates. Absolutely. <laughs> bullying. <laughs> My, he manhandled him. I don't need uh -huh. Yeah, he and, he, and he was a Christian Character Award winner last year. Yeah, I don't know Guess how. who's not getting it this year? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, so me in this game, I think this is an a interesting test for the boys. Uh, can they compete with one of the elite teams in the league? I think Eric has been, has been hot lately. I think he threw, you said six touchdowns uh, last week. The Seahawks, I, I seen the team was hungry last week. They really wanted to win against the Colts. I actually, I can't even fault uh, Ortiz uh, in preparation. He had a game plan for the Colts. Um, I don't know if he's going to come with that same kind of mentality against the boys. Uh, but uh, but I feel like the, the players are the ones that didn't execute last week. I can't blame it on the Colts for the first time. Um, but they should be wanting to bounce back. Um, you know, but I don't know. I know. They have a lot going on with either prom or different, you know, kind of stuff coming up. So I don't know where their mindset is going to be going into this game. And I think this game is going to be a little bit closer, but I think this is probably, I think Tashim's going to lead them, and this is probably going to be the first time the Seahawks actually beat the boys, and I got it 26-20. Because he doesn't have prom, right? So he's going to be focused. Oh, he's going to be there. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of distractions over there. But th this is the week, this is the week to get prepared, uh, you know, uh, for the playoffs coming up that next week. 